Today I'd like to tie for you a deer hair cricket. The hook I have in a vise is a size 12. This is a Umqua curb shank hook. I'm going to use black thread. I'm going to put a base of thread down. And I'm going to bring that back to the barb of the hook. And as you can see, I didn't bend the barb down on this one. I just forgot about it. Remove that excess. Now I'm going to take my dubbing whirl and make a dubbing loop. And bring my thread up three quarters of the hook. I'm going to take black Antron dubbing. I'm going to fill my dubbing loop. I'm using a dubbing loop because I want this pretty thick. Get it all inside. Turn my vise slightly. I'm going to give it a whirl. And there we have one dub noodle. We're going to. I'm going to use my rotary option. And I'm going to wrap this thread this loop got a nice fuzzy little body there and I'm going to stop when it comes up to the three-quarter point tie that off and nip away the excess now I have a turkey tail that I rounded off. I lacquered this turkey tail and then rounded it off. You can see the lacquered a little the shine on there. And this is the wing. I'm going to put that wing on so it extends past the body slightly. Just hold it. It's wrapped around slightly. Just tie that in right there. And the lacquered turkey tail will take a little more of a beating than if it wasn't lacquered. <laughs> now I'm going to take some black deer hair. I have it in my hair stacker. Get rid of the short stuff. And we're going to want this to be about half the distance of the wing. But I'm going to tie it in at facing forward. I'm going to push the eye right in there. Get a couple of loose loops with the thread. I'm going to switch, pull out any loose ones, tie that down. Trim off any long ones on the back. See where the eye is. Okay. Bring that thread right up to the eye, and then I'm going to bring it back right to where I tied the wing in. I'm going to take my bodkin, and I'm going to push all of the hair backwards. And make that bullet head.
can turn it over and trim away the hairs from the bottom. I'm going to take black rubber leg and I'm going to tie them in. I want these nice and big. I'm going to trim off a little bit off the bottom there. You can see I have white that I use permanent marker on. This will add a good amount of liveliness to the fly. Trim them off pretty close at the front. And shorten the back. Take another one, measure it to that. And wrap that in. Trim off that back, trim off the front, color those stubs. Put some head cement on there. I'm going to go all the way around on the thread. You can put it on the head too. Not really going to hurt anything. And here we have a deer hair cricket. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.